Hi, I'm Maggie Wilder with Bangs, and welcome to In the Moment. The National Conservatory of Dramatic Arts wants to take some of the mystery out of creating a great performance. So today we're going to focus on one of the easiest and most often overlooked tools in your acting arsenal, finishing the beat, also known as sustaining a choice. One of the easiest ways to tell that an actor is not yet a seasoned pro is that they tend to break the lines into easily managed chunks that on their own have no meaning. Now I'm telling these son of a bitches that we respect the Japanese of this country who are honest businessmen. And yeah, this is the land of opportunity for legitimate business, not for death merchants who distribute drugs to our children through schools and on the streets. Yikes. What would the scene look like if we watched it without breaking it up into so many pieces, you ask? Now I'm telling these son of a bitches that we respect the Japanese of this country who are honest businessmen. And yeah, this is the land of opportunity for legitimate business, not for death merchants who distribute drugs to our children through schools and on the streets. Well, there's a lot more to fix in that performance, but hey, it seemed a lot better. But sustaining a choice is more than just speaking in full thoughts or full sentences. All of the things that went into making your choice, be they pace, energy, emotion, inflection, physicality, whatever, all of those things should be carried through to the end of the beat. Watch Kate McKinnon in Yesterday, and over here, you're gonna see the energy of each choice that she plays. Notice how she plays it from the start of the beat to the end with no interruptions. While she may pause or she may use space, she never stops the energy until the end of the beat. <sighs> Buddy, what <laughs> I am offering you is the great and glorious poison chalice of money and fame. If you don't want to drink it, which I would understand, go back and have a warm beer in little Bonnie England. If you do want to drink it, I need to hear you say, Deborah, I'm so thirsty. Give me the goddamn chalice. The tool actors have to achieve the same performance has many different names. Acting coaches say things like, act on the line, or take the ends of your sentences up. Take the ends of your sentences up. The term we use at the conservatory is sustaining. Sustaining means to support, to hold up, or to supply with nourishment. And that's a great way to think about it. You're basically nourishing the text with your choice and keeping it up until the end of the choice. Whatever the process you study, be it Meisner, Method, Suzuki, Viewpoints, or the old college try, what differentiates your performance from someone else's are the choices you make from one moment to the next. Those choices are the actor's art, and we want them to take up as much of your performance as possible. Sustaining a choice is simply executing that choice for as long as you mean to and immediately moving on to a new choice once that moment is over. Let's take a look at some excellent sustained choices. He promised he was gonna show it to me one day. You believe that? Kid from Oakland running around believing in fairy tales. As sure as I know anything, I know this. They will try again. Maybe on another world, maybe on this very ground swept clean. A year from now, 10, they'll swing back to the belief that they can make people better. And I do not hold to that. So no more running. I aim to misbehave. Let's check back in with Nathan Fillion's lines in his second choice during his monologue from Serenity. So no more running. I aim to misbehave. The delivery of those two lines is exactly the same, with exactly the same pace. So I to misbehave. But how does that make them different from this? And yeah, this is the land of opportunity for legitimate business, not for death merchants who distribute drugs to our children through schools and on the streets. Well, beyond Nathan Fillion's stopping points being at the end of his thoughts and Robert Zadar's stopping points being in the middle of his thoughts, part of the problem with these lines from Samurai Cop is you can feel the rainbow pattern in the lines. And yeah, this is the land of opportunity for legitimate business, not for death merchants. 
Watch how Michael B. Jordan reaches out at the end of his lines, reaches out at the end of both sentences, sustaining the energy towards Chadwick Boseman. You believe that? Kid from Oakland running around believing in fairy tales. He doesn't stop sending energy until he finishes the full thought. And when he does stop a choice, it's because he's made a discovery. He promised he was going to show it to me one day. You believe that? Kid from Oakland running around believing in fairy tales. <laughs> Let's take a look at this much longer scene from Waiting for Guffman, and we're just gonna point out when each actor is making a new choice and how long he sustains the choice he's making. I think we have to work. I can't hear on, you. I think we have to work on the music a little bit more, but Fine. I don't want to make trouble. So, and I don't really want to do this in front of them. But I Where think, do you want to do it? Well, I think we have to sit down and make a schedule that includes some, some music time, because I think Gene and I have why to you, Why work. are you whispering? I'm right here, you know? I don't oh, I'm sorry. Do you want me to t talk louder? Because I, th I think that well, now it it's would too be... loud. You know, just talk like a normal person, okay? I think what they were doing was good. Well, to me, you yes, rehearse, you rehearse, you, you rehearse. get it perfect. You know exactly what you're doing, and then, and then you forget about it. Let Job. me pinpoint you. You said they learn it, they forget it, and that's okay. That's great. Well, they've forgotten it. But they never learned it. So when do they learn it? I'm just saying, when do we have it? But what I'm saying when is, if they're going to forget it anyway, down. then what difference does it make? I mean, you, you see what I mean? It's just like, it's like one of those, no, no, it's please. like a, Maybe it's I like a, see. it's a Zen thing. It's like, you know, you know, how many babies, you know, fit in, in the, in the tire thing, that whole, the old joke, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, you have a point. Uh, it's you know, an interesting point. When you sustain a choice, you avoid the moments of vague artistry in between your more standout lines, and you activate the text, allowing you to stay more engaged and present. In the moment. Until next time, I'm Maggie Wilder.